Welcome back. Today we're going to be going over navigations and how you set them up inside Shopify. So let's jump into it. Let's talk about menus and how to organize them inside Shopify. Let's jump over the dashboard. So if you're under the sales channel navigation on the left hand side, you'll have navigation over here. Now we've been in this before talking about 301 redirects, but we're going to go in here and we're going to talk about how to actually modify navigations now so that we can arrange our store so it's easy for our customers to get to. Now about a year and a half ago, Shopify changed all the way navigations work. It used to be a complicated way of having handles match titles of navigations that would connect together. Uh, you would have to know what the handleized version of a specific uh, title would be for things to show underneath everything. It's much easier now. So what you want to do is you want to go into your menus icon and we're going to go to main menu. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through exactly how menus all work. So you have your menu items listed down below. Now it's a very simple drag and drop interface. So if I wanted, for example, Chanel to fall underneath shop, I would grab it, drag it down until I got to uh, underneath shop. And then as you can see, it's indented it. And if I drop it down, you can see it's now pump, bumped it in a little bit. This indicates that it's now a drop down of shop. Okay. Now, if I save that menu and I go over to the store and I refresh the store, we'll see that Chanel has disappeared off of our navigation. But if we hover over shop, it's now underneath the shop, making it very easy for us to add and modify items underneath there. Let's add an item. So let's, if we go back over, we go to add menu items to shop and we want to put in Gucci and then we can link it to a product and let's just link it to a Gucci product. Something that we know that's in here. Great. And we're going to hit add. Okay. So that is now going to add it to our shop. If we hit save and we go back over to the store, refresh the store. And now we have two items underneath our, uh, our menu. Now we can go one step further. The theme that we're using use is a mega menu for three level deep navigations. So if I have an organizer here and I want to actually put this underneath the Chanel tag, when I move it over top of that navigation, you see it gets a little drop down arrow as well as it indents like it did before. And now you can see we have three levels deep. When I hit save, you'll see something very interesting happens on the theme. If we hover over top of the theme, we now get this mega menu that shows up. So we now have Chanel with organizers and a line and we have Gucci and it will have its own items underneath it. So let's say we wanted to add an um, organizer for the Gucci. So let's, we should handbag organizer should show up here. Great. Add that. And then we're going to move it under and indent it. And then we're going to save that. Okay, so now if I come back over to my demo store and I go under shop, I can see I now have organizers underneath Gucci and I now have it underneath Chanel. Now we can modify the way that this works uh, using CSS styles. If that's something that you're looking for, you should contact us and we'll be able to walk you through how to modify it. It's not super simple, it requires some HTML, some liquid and some um, CSS experience in order to make those modifications. Now let's add one more menu item to shop. So let's go add a menu item to shop and we're going to go about us and we're going to link it to that page that we created before the about us page. We're going to add that and save it. Now we can also go in and we can contract these items by using the arrows. Um, this will collapse them so that we can now see how they're all laying out. If we go back over here and refresh it and we look under shop, we can see it's now turned it into a three column layout. Now, ideally um, for this mega menu, I prefer a four column layout. Um, so I'm going to add one more page in here. Now we're going to link it to the sizing chart. Let's call that sizing chart. Because it gives it a nice, even look and feel. So if we go over to the film, we've got sizing chart about us, and then we have our sub menus underneath here. And let's change these here from organizers. Let's add uh, handbags, 
So we're gonna search for a product and we're gonna go and bag. Now generally, you would be linking these items to a collection. So let's do that under Gucci actually. Let's add an item in here for shoulder bags and let's go to a collection and let's go to all products and then we can sort the products or the, or the collection by a tag. So we're gonna go shoulder bags because we have a tag set up for shoulder bags. So we can hit save and now if we go back over the demo store and refresh it, we go under shop, we can see the navigation start to build itself out now. Now that we have a couple items in here, you can start to see how it's going to look and react. Uh, when you only have two or three items in there, they kind of look a little helter skelter. So now when we have handbags, we have organizers, we have shoulder bags for Gucci and Chanel, um, and we can continue to add these. As we add additional items in here, it's going to make more columns, making them shorter, um, but it's going to fit everything in there. Okay, so that's how menu items work. Um, you can add additional menus. So on your store, you have the main menu, which is the one that I've been modifying, the main menu. If we hit back, we'll see that there's actually some additional menus down at the bottom. Uh, there's a main menu down at the bottom, which is the shop menu, but we can actually change that to a footer menu. So if we go into footer menu, we see that it has two items inside it. It has search and it has about us. If we wanted to reassign this footer menu, we go to themes, and we go to customize, and then we look for our theme setting to do that. So I'm gonna go under footer, and I'm gonna change the bottom link list here, and I'm gonna change this to footer menu. We can now see the footer menu show up at the bottom. Thanks for coming by. I hope that this was helpful. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, hit the bell notification if that's something that you're into, and we will see you in the next one.